Hey, hey Red Raiders. Raiders, it's Caitlin and TJ and today we're going to be going around campus asking some of you guys some questions to see if y'all are smarter than a fifth grader. So let's get started. <laughs> the light bulb in 1879. Mm. Okay, that's one for one. <laughs> Pretty good, off to a good start. Who invented the light bulb in 1879? Nice, okay, okay. Two for two. What are the first 10 amendments to the Constitution called? Uh, the Bill of Rights. Yeah. I tagged you. She's like, I'll just let her get all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what are the first ten amendments of the Constitution called? The Bill of Rights. Yeah. <laughs> what? We got a smart one over here. <laughs> I was like, it took me a second to get all of those. <laughs> what species can live on both water and land? Like an amphibian? Yeah, that's actually the yeah. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I'm just guessing. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what species can live on both? <laughs> what planet is closest to the sun? Really think about it. Really think about it. Uh, is it? Mercury? Is Mercury, Venus, Mars? Wait. Is that your answer? No, 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 no. no. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mercury? Okay. Yeah. Mercury? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah! Okay, cool. Nice. Off to a good start. <laughs> what planet is closest to the sun? A thinker. Okay. <laughs> I want to think Mercury, but thinker. Um, that uh, really think about it. Okay, so I'll say Venus. So I want to think Mercury. Venus. Oh, you're. It was right. It was Mercury. Oh. I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta go with your gut. You gotta go with your gut. What planet is closest to the sun? Mercury. Wait, no, that's an element. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer, Mercury? Correct. <laughs> what planet is closest to the sun? Mercury. Mercury? Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Okay. Everybody knows so. I did that. Know that. What is what planet is closest to the sun? Mercury. Final answer? Yes. Nice, correct. Okay, one for one. Abraham Lincoln was what number president? What number president? Oh, okay. 20. Okay, 16. Oh, oh well, actually. No way. Well, you go from 20, 16. That is correct. 16. Okay, two for two. So, what number president was Abraham Lincoln? Um. 24. Are you sure? No. <laughs> he was the 16th. Okay. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was what number president? 17th, I believe. That's my last Yeah. 16. Uh, close. That was almost one off, one off. <laughs> what are the three states of matter? Three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Are you sure? Yes. Correct. <laughs> He's like, mm, actually, no. <laughs> what are the three states of matter? Solid, liquid, and gas. Sure on that? Yes. So there's plasma. We don't really talk about plasma until so you get to your upper level plasma. Oh, okay. <laughs> she said, yeah, period. <laughs> what is the largest U.S. state by land mass? Nice! Okay, everybody is smart apparently because <laughs> Texas Tech is just showing out today because I didn't know any of these. What is the largest U.S. state by land mass? Alaska. Nice! Okay, and what is the largest U.S. state by land mass? Alaska. Oh! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm from Canada, but I still know. Nice, nice. What is the name of a positively charged subatomic particle that appears in the nucleus of all atoms? 
the fifth grade question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Maybe proton? going into some. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Proton. Proton. That's correct. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, what is the energy of a moving object called? Kinetic energy. Yeah. Kinetic energy. Nice. Okay. How many sides does a trapezoid have? Mm, really think about that one. Yeah, yeah. Four. Final answer? Yes. <laughs> okay. Four is the <laughs> Nice, nice. How many sides does a trapezoid have? Four. Four? Yes. Nice. Four. Okay. How many sides does a trapezoid have? Four. What is the powerhouse of the cell? The mitochondria. <laughs> Everybody knows the mitochondria. What is the powerhouse of the cell? The mitochondria. <laughs> Everybody knows the mitochondria. What is the powerhouse of the cell? The mitochondria. <laughs> Everybody knows the mitochondria. <laughs> what is the powerhouse of the cell? The mitochondria. Guys, what is the powerhouse of the cell? Oh my gosh, the mitochondria. You guys, right? <laughs> Everybody does the mitochondria. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, so it turns out a lot of you guys are a lot smarter than a fifth grader. And I guess that explains why you made it here to Tech, so congrats. So thank you Red Raiders so much for playing along with us today. And we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Red Red them, bye!